people out there online talking about uh, you know this story and you know basically you know this guy posted a picture with his daughter she looks excited and happy to be with her dad and he said just touch down in KC Kansas City I'm about to meet my daughter and you know People are on there saying whatever they wanted to say about him. A lot of men were like, man, that's that's what's up, man, that's good. Um, I think people found out that how old the, the daughter was, like 10 years old or older. And a lot of men were like, man, I understand where you're coming from because their significant other or someone they used to be with prevented them from seeing their child. So, you know, there are women out there basically saying he always talks about wanting a daughter. He had one. Um, and really just saying that they feel that he was just trying to go viral. But there are all these narratives that I put out there, X, Y, and Z. And this is what he responded by saying. Um, he said, I don't know where people are getting this we got into it narrative from, but I never said that. I said that she did something to me before and after our child was born. I won't elaborate on what they are because it's none of y'all's business, but at least stop making up stuff I didn't say. So, I mean, that's what's you know going on in that regard. And there's, I mean, there's always more to the story. So he posted a text message where his daughter saying, Dad, I'm about to go to sleep. I will text you in the morning. Good night, baby girl. And she said, okay, love you. Call you tomorrow. I love you more. Okay. And good night. And you just hearing a lot of people just responding to this and they don't know the whole story. Someone said, one thing the internet going to do is take a positive situation and make it negative. So then you got people in the comment section telling him that he needs to share his side. He's saying you don't have to. Uh, someone else saying you're telling us all of this so... Ninja, say what she did to you that was worth 10 years of not knowing, seeing, being there for your child. This is just suspenseful. Someone said, you won't get the reason because you know it's stupid as hell. Mind you, these individuals that are commenting on this don't know nothing about him or, you know, the woman that he had a child with. But the Internet, you know, they go on the Internet. Someone says, everyone is reacting to info you put out. How else would anyone know you go to your child without you bringing it to social media? Someone said, it's your story, so of course you can pick and choose what you share, but people will dig into the holes of the story. One thing I will say, and I don't know the story of this, right? One thing I know is that men never get the benefit of a doubt. I don't know X, Y, and Z about any of this story, but I do know that when a man puts a story out, he never gets the benefit of the doubt. It's always uh, the worst possible scenario um, for the men involved. There's never any grace. Someone said there is not a reason not to be in your child's life. A lot of people say that, but again, do you know the situation? We don't know. it. Someone said that's the thing. None of this was our business. Your absence was inexcusable. Raise your kid and shut up. Enough of this. Again, somebody speaking on something they don't know. Do you know why he was kept from his child? Do you know what went down or does it not matter? Someone said, honestly, I don't think it's anything a woman can do to you to make you miss out on 10 years of your child's life. So, I mean, seeing these comments, so, but you see a lot of fellas saying, bro, I'm with you. I'm going through the same thing as we speak. So a lot of men are on there saying, you know, I'm going through it as well. Someone says, well, after reading all the comments, I think a lot of folks are just wondering why you did what you did and why you were out of your child's life for that long period of time. So... 10 years is crazy of seeing someone says someone said the reunion wasn't our business, but you made it our business. Um, you're effing X, Y, Z. 
he he put his business on his page. So, I mean, he has the right to put anything on his page that he wants to put it on. Um, I just wish that people dug this deep into their own lives, their own relationships. They These individuals are being cheated on. These individuals are uh, going through their own circumstances, but they can always play expert on what somebody else needs to do. That's usually the internet. Internet's internet. Somebody calling him a deadbeat. Someone says, you brought a private situation to Twitter. Hope this helps. People do that all the time. People put private stuff on their page all the time. So I guess they were saying he just just kept this to himself. So, yeah, man, that's what we're seeing online. Um, People are telling him to be quiet. He's a deadbeat. So what are your thoughts on this?